Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and I am here with United Power and you might see in the background the, the title Tesla. I am at an actual real life power pack in Colorado and uh, I've asked United Power to just let me ask some questions about it so you all can learn about what Tesla is doing with power providers. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell everyone what you do. Uh, my name is Jerry Marizza. As mentioned, I work at United Power. I'm the new business director, and I was an integral part of this whole design and negotiating the, the contracts for this battery. So this is, uh, to, to my knowledge, the very first in Colorado of this type of size, right? Yes, there's uh, there are some battery uh, installations in the about the 50 kW level around uh, different parts of the state, but this is a four megawatt site, so this is definitely the largest in the state of Colorado at this point. And, and, and I, th I think that's quite impressive. So, so for the layman, how much is megawatts? I know people uh, consumers are paying at the kilowatt per hour, so maybe you can break that down into like a simple form. Yeah. How much is four megawatts? Well, typically four megawatts is four thousand kilowatts. Yeah. And a typical home might uh, typically have a demand of maybe uh, 5 to 6 kW. So uh, you can do the math on that. But yep. uh, this basically offsets the demand component for hundreds of homes. Yes. And, and the inspiration, the genesis behind installing this and making the investment in this was what? Well, there's a lot of business cases for batteries if you've read some of the articles and stuff like that. But uh, for us, it was to shave the peak demands off of our utility uh, wholesale power bill. Uh, peak is when the cost of electricity is usually at its highest. So anything that I can do to remove that uh, purchase of electricity during those peak conditions saves me money. It's it's it saves the company money, but it also saves the uh, the consumer and the homeowner too, right? Well, ultimately, we are uh, projecting saving a million dollars per year with this four megawatt uh, battery setup. So, uh, to to the extent that I'm saving money, then that just trickles down to everybody in our service territory. A absolutely, and this got turned on when? Uh, we turned it on in December of uh, 2018, so not not very long ago. And we were talking uh, before we uh, hit record on this payback period. Mm -hmm. So um, talk a little bit about the lifespan of these batteries because that, that, to be honest, comes up quite a bit <laughs> when I'm talking with others about the, um, the effectiveness of batteries versus maybe some other power sources. So what's the lifespan that Tesla has, has maybe shared and um, how, w when do you intend on paying that back? Well, that was a big part of the decision-making process for this battery was what kind of asset did we really have and how long would it last? Obviously, having the output is the value to this. Do we have it for a year, five years, 10 years, 20 years? Sure. Um, one of the things that made me a little paranoid is perhaps in the past you've done this too where you buy these little AA rechargeable yeah. batteries <laughs> and you feel like you're doing a good job, but you use them three, four, five times and the next thing you know, you can barely play your radio with them. Uh, I can't spend millions of dollars for this utility and find out I got a dead <laughs> battery at the end of the year. So. At, least, at least you wouldn't have your job for very long. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> uh, so when we worked with Tesla, one of the reasons we like working with Tesla is they are a little bit battle tested. They've had the vehicles out there. They, they've worked with these batteries for quite a while. They just built a big factory in Nevada. And so we felt that these guys want to be successful. They were a little bit battle tested, but the most important thing was uh, they came to us with a warranty that I did have to pay a little bit of a premium, but not much, but they guaranteed 100% output at the end of 10 years. Mm -hmm. And considering that with my million dollars savings every year, uh, I felt I had about a seven to eight year um, payback. Mm -hmm. So if you can guarantee my output for 10 years, uh, that really helped to make this decision. And they went on to put a 80% uh, output at the end of 15 years. So I think I've got at least a 15 year asset here. Uh, with a seven to eight year payback, and perhaps it's even longer. Maybe we can get 20 years out of this thing. I, I, I think so as well. You know, in, in speaking as an owner of their vehicles, <laughs> uh, I would I would concur with you that they're definitely battle tested. I, mm -hmm. I myself have run the the car and the battery pack right. uh, through right. through the uh, battles, and mm -hmm. uh, and and they're extremely durable, extremely resilient, and uh, I I think very well 
designed and engineered, the, the, the best in the industry that, that I know of in terms of automobiles, and I'm sure that they're leading the way on the uh, utility and power provider side as well. And I, and I might make a comment that that's today. Uh, yeah. There are a lot of battery technologies that are out there. Uh, some are coming to market, and I'm sure over a period of time we're going we're gonna to see maybe people or different technologies replace the lithium ion, but for right now, this seemed like the safest bet for us uh, moving forward. What, what are the plans long term? So you've got this four megawatt installation here in, uh, in Weld County. Uh, where do you see this going? Is this something that you might want to install in other areas of your territory? Well, the way we feel about it is we wanted to get hands-on experience with this battery. And again, we made the business case to shave our peaks. That's how we're going to get the money back to pay for this thing. But the experience we're going to get is um, a, a lot of politicians, a lot of people talk about high penetrations of renewables. Some say actually as high as 100%. Well, as long as people want to still watch television at night, we need to find a way to take that energy that's made during the day, store it, and release it at, at a later time. Uh, that's part of the experience that we're going to get utilizing this battery. So future projects may have different business cases surrounding it and may be doing some other things. But I think this is just the next logical step in the... Uh, renewable revolution, really. Mm -hmm. uh, I know a few people online, when I when I informed them that, that I was going to be out here, were very curious about um, what what the co total cost was or what the cost to the resident in your territory is. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to say the toll, but if you'd say a million dollars a year savings with a yes. seven to eight year payback, sure. I'll let you do the math yep. on that. Yep. Uh, and, and again, it isn't a direct benefit, uh, although we are considering uh, to go through a, a little bit of uh, if you've heard of community solar, yep. which is where you take a remote asset, you allow people to buy into that asset, and you provide a credit to their utility bill, mm -hmm. uh, that offsets the energy at a person's home. Yep. And it's a great idea. Yep. This battery, we could actually allow our commercial and industrial customers who have a demand component on their utility bill that has uh, that solar will never touch if we allowed them to buy into this battery, we could actually start to offset the demand component on a commercial and industrial bill. It would be community solar, but we're calling it community battery, and it affects the demand component of a utility bill instead of the energy component. And we think that's a fairly unique idea, and we want to see how that goes in the future, too. I love it. I love it. So um, overall, very pleased with uh, your installation here from Tesla? No, so far so good. Again, uh, it is really nice to work with a vendor that has done these kinds of projects, knows what they're doing, has quality people, and can come in and do it. It was yeah. really nice. Awesome. Well, uh, you heard it here first, and uh, thank you so much to United Power for no taking the time to uh, give me the rundown on their installation. And uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think about this, and is this something that you could see in your area, and, and then that you'd like to see your power provider install in your area? Sean Mitchell, signing off. Thanks so much.